So before I start this video, it's saying like 90% uh, of people that watch my videos only subscribe. So if that's you, could you just give me a wee subscribe? Really helps me out. It's free, takes two seconds. Would be very much appreciated. So thanks. Enjoy the video. So this one's about a spiritual vision that I had and uh, it was about like a, a black eyed witch. So it was quite a, quite a specific one and quite uh, striking and quite, uh, quite unsettling I suppose you would say as well, quite freaky to see something like that. It was the, the piercing black eyes just looking at me like it was just, uh, it was a bit unsettling, but also like pretty cool as well. It's quite quite a few things going on with it, just quite specific and quite different. And I, I kind of knew straight away that this this would be quite an interesting one because it's it's quite different. It's not something that I ever really think about, or it's not something I see a lot on in, in life or that. Like you don't see like black eyed people eh, or witches running around, so. Quite, uh, quite unusual, but uh, I looked it up anyway, and this is what it said. A spiritual vision of a black-eyed witch is a powerful and intriguing symbol with various layers of meaning. The shadow self and inner darkness Black eyes in a vision often symbolise the unknown, the void or the shadow aspects of the self. A black eyed witch could represent the dark, darker, hidden parts of your psyche or aspects of yourself that you may fear, reject or not fully understand. The vision may be calling you to confront these shadow aspects and integrate them into your consciousness for deeper self-awareness and healing. Wisdom of the occult and the mystical. Witches are often associated with ancient wisdom, magical practices, and a deep connection to the, mid the mystical realms. The black-eyed witch might symbolize access to hidden knowledge occult wisdom or the mysteries of the spiritual world. Her black eyes could signify that this knowledge is deeply mysterious, powerful and perhaps not easily understood or accessed. Power and Intuition Witches are also symbols of feminine power, intuition, and ability to influence the unseen forces of the universe. A black-eyed witch in your vision could represent a potent source of inner power and intuition that you are being encouraged to acknowledge and harness. The dark eyes might suggest that this power is intense and comes from a place deep within your subconscious or the spiritual world. Protection and Warning In some interpretations, black eyes can be a warning sign, suggesting the presence of something that may be dangerous or challenging. The vision of a black-eyed witch might be cautioning you to be mindful of the energies you are engaging with, whether they are external influences or internal emotions. It could also serve as a protective symbol, reminding you to guard yourself 
against negative forces or situations. Transformation and Rebirth Witches are often associated with transformation, particularly in relation to cycles of life, death and rebirth. The black-eyed witch could represent a period of intense transformation in your life where you are being asked to let go of old identities or ways of being in order to be reborn into a new phase of existence. The black eyes may symbolise the void or the unknown that precedes this transformation. The vision of a black-eyed witch is likely a profound symbol of hidden wisdom, shadow work, intuitive power and transformation. It may be urging you to explore the deeper, darker aspects of your spirituality and psyche to embrace your intuitive abilities and to be aware of the powerful forces at play in your life. Reflecting on how you felt during the vision and what associations you personally have with witches and black eyes can offer further insight into the specific meaning uh, this vision holds for you. So for me, this is quite quite a a wild one, I suppose. It's quite I'm not really sure what to make yet. There's certain things in it that can make sense, and others that that don't. Or I mean, like uh, just like with the the feminine energy, like I seem to hear lots of that. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's because like I'm quite like creative and and quite like like really kind of imaginative and creative kind of thing with, with that and there's also like lots of dark aspects in my, my personality and my, my psyche and stuff like a, I think I've just I don't know if I've just been through a lot of stuff then I always kind of go to dark dark places at times but sometimes I enjoy it kind of or I used to but I'm obviously trying to get away from that try to it's not good being dark all the time uh, but uh, <coughs> stuff about wisdom and all that like I'm not quite knowledgeable and I do seem to I don't know I just seem to know things that I, I really like it's not like I've looked into or that it's not like I should know them but I do I, for, for some reason I, I suppose you could call it intuitive as well I'm just quite really intuitive, intuitive and quite knowledgeable quite like got a lot of wisdom and stuff and uh, quite like sensible and stuff as well so I suppose that ties in and uh, it could like protection and warning uh, it's a bit like the black dog and stuff as well the, the black dog that sat with me in my dream obviously the colour black and that's kind of protection and warning uh, and it's telling me to be mindful of the energies I'm engaging uh, for me, I, I'm not sure if I've always engaged these. En well, I don't think I've always engaged the energies. I think I've always had them flowing around about me, but I've never knowingly and willingly and intentionally kind of engaged all this kind of stuff. So it's probably just telling me just to just to watch what I'm doing kind of thing and don't uh, don't jump in too deep, I suppose. Uh, and this one is the kind of one that sticks with me. Uh, the transformation and rebirth because it is like basically the way I'm looking at all this is like I used to have like an old life and now I'm in a process of transformation and rebirth and I'm going to have like a completely different life uh, after this and uh, it's, it's all mixed in with a lot of personal and st like stuff like that and a lot of kind of stuff that's that's been going on in my life as well as this kind of journey that I've been going on as well spiritually kind of thing but for me that is what it's all about is the transformation and rebirth uh, and then like the summary and stuff I have I have met a few witches believe it or not in my time uh, but uh, what else 
and or it may be urging you to explore the deeper, darker aspects and that. I, I, <laughs> It's, I'm, I do do that, I'm trying to get away from that kind of thing and try to just be like, see the light kind of thing and, uh, but maybe I need to explore them to, to get through it, so it could be that. Uh, but aye, for me, just, uh, just a really interesting one and quite unique. It's quite, like I say, it was just the piercing black eyes kind of staring at me and it's, it was quite, giving me like a wee kind of shiver, getting a wee jolt kind of doing my spine and that and I was just like that's quite quite freaky kind of thing eh but I suppose it all has meaning like or I wouldn't be seen it and it's maybe one that I'll just explore as I go and it does make sense a lot of the points to be fair eh but like I said for me transformation and rebirth is the the main one that sticks out so again if, if you have visions and stuff and uh, you can share your experiences in the comments and that. I'd be interested to know, to know uh, what your experiences are with, with like, uh, meditative visions and stuff. Uh, but I, that, that's, that's this one anyway. Uh, so I'll catch you in the next one.